Hey everyone, it's Ted, and today we're doing another Conquest of Kings. Look at that thing. Um, we're doing um, Hostile Guard for the Hundred Kingdoms. Um, it's more excellent figures. I really love these figures. So, there's not much on him to paint, so this is actually a really easy one to paint. He has lots of armor. He has his halberd. And this has very little cloth in the back of the pants here. And, and let's see, this figure on, on this arm here. So, uh, how I'm going to be painting him. Uh, he's going to have golden armor. Or brass. It does, it, it's household guard, so he's, I want to make, I want the unit to stand out more than regular forces. So, I'll take, take my Nasdrag yellow. And... Just go through and paint everything that's yellow on, which is all the armor. Yep, so just work your way around, make a mess. So I'll go through and do all, do all the yellow. I'll be right back. All right. I got, I got the yellow on. That represents the bronze or the uh, yellow ar yellow metal armor. Focus. Uh, keep it down here. All right. Next, uh, the second color. Um, I'm just going to use a little gore grunter brown fur because the wrap around his neck. Just like that. The next biggest color we white angels red. Now this is going to be for the the stripes on his pants. Um, he has a sash here. And for the halberd, so we use the bigger brush to get the bigger areas done. There it is. That's got the halberd. Got got a sash here. Enough for the stripes. Uh, this you just gotta take your time doing. I'm going to use this old GW brush. That a lot a lot of the bristles are missing off of it. So it's a very or you can use a very thigh like a four aught. It's a very and. On here is very faintly, but he does have uh, the line. So they did fold the stripes in for for the stripes of the pants. So let's find the first one. Once you get the, you find where the first one's located, then you can work your way around.
to the other ones. And if you're not sure how stripes and pants go, you can just look at reference photos because during the medieval time, during the late Renaissance, striped clothes multi was quite common for uniform a lot of uniform, especially mercenaries. So we had this. I said, if you mess up the red, doesn't that dry? And they go back with the white and fill, and fill it in with some whiteness to clean it up. So, just work your way around. So, is that making mistakes? Wait, let it dry, then just go back over it. Now, his on his left arm, he has some cloth exposed, so it's the same thing there. Is that one location? Just work your way around. There you go. You get the stripes on his arm, just like that. Yeah, I do have to do a little cleaning up there, but so as the yellow dries, I'm starting to see some spots where there was bubbles and it just didn't stick like there and there. So let's go back. Just do a little clean cleaning up. Well, plus a lot of these will be filled in when I do the wash, too. So, and the, actually, the last color I just need to do is the gray, just for the tip, top of the halberd. The specific silica gray for that. And basically, he's done. And that's it. There's not much on on, the, on these guys because he just lets a lot, lots of armor through the stripes on the pants, the cloth, the halberd, and then the fight. Now, once he's dry, I just have to do the dry brush on him. And then I put the wash. And once he's all done, this is what he looks like. So it's with the wash it subdues it down and stuff like that makes it more darker and i really like the non-metallic metal 
because I, I I said the 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 aesthetic and theme of this army is not it's nothing shiny. I have one guy with who has special armor that's shiny, but everybody else has a very subdued and dark dark tone. So I have to do twenty four of these guys, and this unit be done. Oh, and some of them on on here have feathers. I just use a blue and a green and wet wet blend them together. Just for the feathers, and then the cloth. So the tassels on their halberds. And some have tassels down here on their on the legs too down here. And that those are this this is a green and yeah, usually these uh, Tyrian green and uh, Carandra green. This is the two colors I use for that. So, but besides that, I said. Uh, one setting, one day, you can have twenty the, the whole unit painted up and on the field. Uh, the bases take a lot because I'm doing um, special bases for the Hundred Kingdom. Everybody else is going to wreck. I'm just I'm going a little bit above on the Hundred Kingdom. So I'm just using terrain bases like this. So once these are painted up and stuff, glue's on there and these are ready to go. So that, uh, that's Household Guard for a Hundred Kingdoms. I said. Not nice, quick, fast way of doing them. So, until later, guys. Uh, keep on painting. Don't be afraid to experiment with different stuff. And um, have an enjoyable day.